That has to be it's dead. It's a decent sized fish too. All right, we're not doing this to harm him, just to see if he snaps. Oh yeah, no, he's alive. Oh! oh, 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 oh. G'day guys, you're with Rowan and Eden today, and today we're out on the water with Cam Wild from Wild Touring and his mate Jonesy. We've just launched about an hour south of Karatha, and we're gonna be doing a big island adventure this weekend, so stay tuned. First things first, we're gonna get out on the water now, go drop our gear off on one of the islands, and then we'll get stuck into the fishing, and we'll catch up with you then. So scratching what we said just a second ago about going to the islands first to drop our gear off, we've decided we're just gonna get straight into it and fish with a bit of firewood and stuff on our boat. So Cam's just cruising up behind us now. We're not far from one of the first marks we wanna go visit. Cam's never caught a uh, coral trout before, so last time we were at this particular spot, we were loading up on really good trout. So we're gonna go get stuck straight into that and see what we can pull up on the fishing rods in the first few minutes. Okay, you got a very nicely sized blue line emperor there. So we're definitely going to keep him. These are delicious eating. Yes, that's good fish. Yeah, buddy. Good head shake. Oh, yes. That's more my style. I wonder if it's another blue line or we're finally going to mix it up this morning. Oh, lovely fish. Wonder if I can one up Eden here. Woohoo! <laughs> Are we opening the trout account? No, it looks like another blue line from here. Another big girl. Yeah, buddy, whoa. We will happily take these. It's another good blue line there. That's definitely not as big as Eden's one though. I'll take that one, so. I can always get plenty of trout and blue bone and stuff diving, but these guys are a bit more elusive, so. To get them on board with the rod and reel is always welcome. And they're definitely in the top five of the eating fish for up here, so. We'll take that any day of the week. Oh, that's a fish, man. Oh, we're on to something big here. Oh. Right, so while Eden's getting lit up there, I'll just show you guys the show here. We've just pulled up on this, so. Ooh. If they're not Trevally, this could be something pretty damn good. You know what it probably is? A Chinaman. He's off the bottom now. Oh, I'm so excited to see what this is. Oh my gosh, it's a strong fish, whatever it is. Please don't be a shark. No, it's a fish, eh? Chinaman. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. It is a big Chinaman. Called it from the start. She called it right, but that's the show on the sounder, so I was under the assumption it might be something a little bit different. Bugger. I'm very good at catching these big Chinamen. Oh, God. Not bad, not massive. Putting up a good fight though. I believe this will be another blue line. He's fighting much the same as the other ones. Good head shakes, really sharp bites. Took a bit to find its way onto the hook. Oh no, it's a blue bone again. How weird. Oh, it's... that's not bad. That's pretty good. Oh, well. 
Oh. Oh. I wonder what I've got. Feels a bit emperorish again. It's uh, got some real sharp shakes. It is another blue line. You can't get away from them. Nah, but I might let this one go. His lucky day. He's a nice one. pulled into the beach now that we're going to be staying on for the night so we've never actually slept on this island we just sort of bunkered in here once before as you can see we're just unloading the gear we've got the boats sitting on the sand over there we're about two hours away from low tide and then I'll probably leave the boat there until two hours on the other side of the low tide where it starts to come back up then we'll move it out and kayak back in but for now just bringing all the gear up We've got a beautiful island, golden sand, blue water. We're going to get stuck into the cook-up as we come into sunset. And then what we're wanting to do tonight is we've got lot, lots of rocky outcrops around this island. So on the low tide, I'm hoping to go over there with the head torch, my dive torch, the gizzy, uh, the hand spear, everything we got sort of thing, and see if we can find some crayfish or anything like that into the night on that low tide. So it's going to be a wicked time. Go have a little campfire and then yeah we get stuck in the things. So I don't know if anyone would have been paying attention today but we have a bit of a different object in the boat that we would normally be carrying. If anyone's realised, it's a big, great big orange kayak that I now carry on board. So a bit of a backstory there. I won't go into the long-winded story, but last year I had a uh, bit of an event where I was island camping and somebody's boat ran away from them. We had to rescue their boat with my boat, but we also had to swim to my boat, which was about 50 metres out in the middle of the night in quite deep water. So that was pretty traumatic. And then after we rescued theirs, mine went adrift and so on and so forth, but what that brings me to today is I've decided to add a kayak to our arsenal. That way I'm always going to have a kayak up on the beach so when we're island camping, if any boats do go adrift and decide to run away, we've at least got something to chase them down and go find it with or jump in without having to swim. Uh, but in saying that, the weather conditions were way, way worse than they are right now. It was gale force winds, really bad tides, everything aligned for it to go horribly wrong, and it did. But we've got beautiful conditions tonight. And anyway, I'm going to get this kayak out and give you a quick look. Might start using it in some of the future videos, but we'll see. So, come out of quick sauce. But pretty much when I selected this kayak, I got it from BCF and it cost me $100 brand new. Couldn't believe my luck. And pretty much just wanted a kayak that could fit in the boat. So we can lay this one down in the boat. It's never actually seen water yet, so I'll throw it over. That's its first time ever touching water. <coughs> kayak was $100 brand new and the haul was about 90 so how you can get a kayak brand new for 100 bucks, I don't know but we have and that's it there so up here in the northwest as the tide goes in and out 
Basically this beach behind us, if Eden swings around with the camera, that will all be covered in water come later tonight. And then at some stage tomorrow morning, 12 hours away, it's gonna be drained back out to this. So this is to get us to and from the boat as required. So I'm gonna drag this up on the beach anyway, and you might see me paddle out to the boat later with it. But yeah, just thought I'd feel in on that one. So we'll get up there and we'll get this cook up underway. We'll grab a fish out and start firing up. Maiden voyage. We're just gonna see if it floats quickly before I drag it up there and get too excited. It might be a hundred bucks for a reason. <laughs> Mate, I'm off. I'm out of here. Slow down, Turbo. But yeah, for a hundred bucks, you've got to be pretty happy with that. So, we'll take her up now. We'll get set up camp. Smallest one, eh? Right, for tonight's dinner, we're just going with the Blue Line Emperor, so one of the smaller ones we caught today. There's one fillet. So today, the aim was to get Cam his first coral trout. We took him to a spot that we got heaps of coral trout last time. I actually caught none today, and Cam ended up with the only coral trout. So first time I haven't caught one in forever, and he's got one luckily. We got the one we needed. And that's what matters, because he's the one trying it today. So yeah. first bite, first taste of coral trout. Beautiful, mate. Really Com nice. Compliments to the chef. Yeah, he he's done an outstanding job, actually. Right, so what we're doing for our dinner is just fish and chips, quite simply. So we're just going to add flour to the fish bag here. Make that one easy. Give that a zip up. Shake it. Nice and easy.
That's that kind of so really creepy. creepy. <laughs> that is so weird. I'm scared. He's got the deadest eyes I've ever seen. Well, I think it's dead, right? It has to I be. I don't know. Have a look what Eden's just found. That oh, has to be it's dead. It's a decent sized fish too. Maybe it's Is it a trout? I don't know, but that's so scary. <laughs> I don't want to get too close I know, to it. I feel like oh no, gonna... there's water in it. Yeah, it's full of water. I feel like it's going to jump out. Me too. That is so weird. So you reckon that's alive? Yeah, 100%. That's a sweet plant. Touch I'll, it, Cam. We'll be waiting for something no. to go above it. Can you just give him a poke with the Hold on, wait, bat? let me move away. I'm terrified. Okay. That is so go. <laughs> go someone that is touch the creepiest it? looking thing I've ever seen. Oh yeah, he just moved. <gasps> Alright, we're not doing this to harm him, just to see if he snaps. Oh yeah, no, he's alive. Oh, oh, yes! oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh I do not want to be a fish, bro! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That is te that's gonna haunt me in my sleep tonight.
you. Oh, that's rank. Ah, mother sucker. Jellyfish tentacles all over my anchor rope then as I'm pulling it in, so stinging up my hands a little. <laughs> 